Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to respond to a message that I actually got on eBay from someone who uh, bought one of my books. And their message, it's, it's really good. It's not really, has nothing to do with the book they bought. Um, it's about mathematics and I think that it can help a lot of people here on the channel. Dear Math Sorcerer, I'm reaching out to seek your thoughts on something that's been on my mind. Oh, and I actually have not read the message yet, so that makes it even more fun for me. So, and that may also shed some light on why I was so excited to purchase one of your books. I've developed over time a deep passion for mathematics and would love to dedicate my life to it. My first encounter with true math occurred during graduate school. Despite having no formal backgrounds in subjects like calculus, real analysis, or number theory, I wasn't discouraged by it. I was captured by the beauty of math. But I cannot hide the strugglings I had when getting into more complex topics that required deep understanding of advanced calculus or topology. That's when I felt disappointed by my background choice. Your videos have been a significant source of inspiration. They've helped me in facing numerous setbacks and failures along the way that I've had with math. I have to be honest, even if I dream it, I sometimes struggle to see myself as a mathematician. I'm not a genius and I see many exceptionally talented individuals in the field, which makes me question whether I'm on the right path. Actually, I exploited the recent opportunity I had of getting one of your books to promise myself that by receiving it, I will mark a commitment to not get lost in spirit when facing failures during my path towards becoming a math mathematics. I think, I think she meant to say mathematician. It's kind of a positive mental trap or simply an additional strong motivation that I believe it can help. I get it, a motivational tool to keep going. Aside from this, the obsession of becoming a mathematician raised several questions that remain unanswered. Who can be considered a mathematician? What defines a mathematician? Can a math enthusiast be considered a mathematician or are only researchers truly mathematicians? And what exactly does a mathematician do? I believe the answers depend on our view of the nature of mathematics. The most fundamental question, is math something invented by humans or something discovered by them? Best regards, really deep email, and I wanted to make this video to address uh, this message. And there's a couple questions here, so let's just talk about the first one. Who can be considered uh, a mathematician? So this is one that I used to always ask myself this many, many years ago. So many years ago, um, you know, I, I hung out on IRC, which is uh, Internet Relay Chat. I don't think people use that anymore. It's not as popular. And uh, also on, on message boards, this is like before Reddit, you know. And there were people there who were mathematicians. And sometimes uh, this question came up. This is something that was, you know, people visited this question multiple times. And several people were of the opinion that, and, and these were people who, you know, were professional mathematicians. So a professional mathematician in the terms of like work, a work sense would be someone who does mathematical research for a living. That would be a research mathematician. But I think the answer is anybody can be considered a mathematician, right? If, if, you, if, you, if you pick up a book on mathematics and it doesn't matter, even if, even if it's a, a, a basic book on basic algebra and you're sitting there and you're, and you're solving those equations, what are you doing? You're doing mathematics, right? You're, you're solving math problems. You are a mathematician, you are, you are solving math problems. I always think about Ramanujan. Ramanujan had no formal education, okay? I, I always get goosebumps uh, when I think of him. He was this man uh, from India, he was very poor, and he went to England, he worked with Hardy. He was a mathematical genius, and he had no training so can you say Ramanujan was not a mathematician, right? Ramanujan is one of the greatest mathematicians, if not the greatest of, of all time. Um, just a remarkable story. And so I think anyone who practices mathematics can be considered a mathematician, but from a professional standpoint, typically people think of math mathematicians or research mathematicians. You asked, um, 
what does a mathematician do? Well, it depends, right? M mathematicians who do research usually do research and they'll teach one or two classes. Some mathematicians uh, focus more on the student side. They do less research, teach more classes. It just depends uh, where these people where these people work. Is math invented by humans or something discovered by them? I don't know. I can't answer that. I will leave that up to the comments. <laughs> so, that's an entire video. That is a very, very hard question, MP. Um, so yeah, thank you uh, for reaching out. So this message again, normally messages, by the way, if you want to message me, uh, what you can do is just go to my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. And there's a contact page and that's, that's how I get messages. But this one came through eBay. I was like, oh, this is really deep. And so I was like, ah, uh, uh, maybe I should just make a video and reply to it. It's just easier than typing up uh, a super long response. But yeah, really cool, really cool. And I wanna comment on something else about this message. Um, MP uh, mentions that sh she had a really hard time when she got into more complex topics that required uh, a deep understanding of advanced calculus or topology. So I wanna comment on that because that's really when it gets really, really hard, right? That, that's the hardest math, right? If you can do that, then you're, you're there. Um, that's the hard stuff, right? Those are, the, those are the hardest math subjects, right? The ones that use you know, advanced calculus and topology. You know, functional analysis uh, is, is a pretty, can be a pretty hard subject. Um, uh, another one, algebraic topology. Uh, can be a, a very, very brutal subject. Right? This, is stuff, this stuff is really, really hard and takes uh, a lot, a lot of time. Um, but yeah, good stuff. If you have any advice for MP, um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, yeah, she's from Italy. She's from Italy. This person is from Italy. Yeah. Also, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to and check out my courses. Uh, I have courses. Uh, for math on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my description from this video or any video because I've lowered the prices so that way you'll know you get a low price. Plus it helps me greatly if you use if you use my links. I have courses on abstract algebra, um, advanced calculus, uh, set theory, calc one, calc two, calc three, differential equations, college algebra, trig, tons of courses. But at the end of the day, I think what defines a mathematician is, you know, is up to you, right? If, if you think that you're a mathematician, if you do mathematics and you feel like that's something you do, then that's what you are. Um, but again, to, to work as a mathematician, like to go out and get a job in the world, um, you know, and, and with the title research mathematician typically requires you have a PhD. But um, there are a lot of people who do mathematics uh, that don't, don't have those jobs, right? So. Um, yeah, Ramanujan, right? And that, that's an extreme case, and there's other, plenty of other um, famous hobbyist, uh, they call them hobbyist mathematicians, right? Because they, they didn't get a, a formal uh, education. But it sounds like you're getting a formal education MP. Um, so yeah, going to college and taking some classes. Uh, Self-study is hard. Keep that in mind when you're learning math. And yeah, math is hard. And if you're thinking, I'm not even close to advanced calculus or topology, don't worry, you'll get there. You'll get there. It's all hard. Every step of the way is hard. It's all relative to where you are, right? It's like you're at this place and you're trying to learn this subject and you're, you're meeting it and it's right in your face and you have to learn it. And, and to get further in math, you have to get through this. And it's hard, right? It's, it's just extremely tough and it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of energy. Regardless of what level you're at, it's all, you're always going to meet that resistance. So for example, if you're in college algebra and you're just learning it, it's hard, right? Logarithms are hard. I remember struggling to learn logarithms, right? Just as much as I remember struggling to learn, you know, inequality proofs, uh, you know, induction inequality proofs. I could never understand that. Or um, graph theory, I never liked graph theory as an undergrad, right? So stuff like that uh, is, is always a challenge. So you, you always face difficulty no matter what. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful and as always, Keep doing mathematics.